Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. In this interview, we talk to the folks at Airrace E, and they're completely crazy. They plan to race electric airplanes at 300 miles per hour, just 10 meters above the ground on an oval track. See for yourself. Hi Eisen, uh, good to see you and thanks for taking the time for this interview. Um, how have you been? Yeah, doing well, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me here. I'm excited. It's a pleasure. Um, we talked about a few topics in the past on Air Race E, but perhaps first you can introduce us to the concept of the Air Race E. Sure. So basically, Air Race E is a new uh, class of uh, motorsport based on electric aircraft. So actually, the format is quite similar to NASCAR, if you wish. So we're basically racing in a novel circuit. Uh, eight aircraft at a time, but uh, 10 meters above the ground. So it's a really high speed, uh, very intense uh, motorsport. Okay, that sounds exciting. And and it's electric, obviously, hence the name Air Race E. Um, now, from an engineering perspective, what does this mean for the airplanes? For example, in terms of uh, the front design of the airplane, cooling and so on? Uh, if you think about it, it simplifies a lot. Um, the front end of the aircraft in terms of aerodynamics, for example, because basically the, the le ele electric part train is, is a lot more compact. It, and, and, and that allows to, to streamline basically the, the nose cone of the aircraft for like uh, front mounted motors. Yeah, indeed. So it's not just electrifying an existing airplane. We're now opening up everything to completely different layouts, also in terms of where you place the propellers, even, right? Uh, we see, you know, like a, a big advantage where we can enable or open up these these regulations that now allow only for like uh, single axis uh, propellers towards uh, what's called the distributed distributed electric propulsion which is something that's in the, you know in the in the academia has been in uh, in research for a few years now the industry is picking that up uh, with you know like the the new urban air mobility movements and new concepts of electric aircraft that are coming up which basically allows you to 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 do things that traditional engines would not allow you to do, which is distribute uh, your power um, along, you know, like uh, the front of the wing or uh, in a hybrid mode, like you can place them on the wing ticks, for example, to reduce uh, in the um, uh, wind tip vortices. Uh, there's a there's a combination of that, that that basically results in increased efficiency. And now we have uh, the possibility to distribute these batteries in the wings, in the nose, in the tail. I mean, there's a lot, different architectures that can be met and, and that allows you to minimize the risk of, of failure or, or like there, in case of, you know, like malfunction uh, to isolate that uh, yep. differently, then it will be a lot more complicated with, with uh, traditional fuels. Okay. And, and indeed distributed uh, weights of the plane. So there's much room uh, for new architectures, but this also lowers the complexity of the entire plane, I can imagine, and the cost as well. So there's a, a big uh, decrease in terms of uh, part count or mechanical assemblies for the industry. I mean, this will bring basically um, a very large decrease on the operational cost per flight hour for, for electric aircraft compared to traditional fossil fuel. Thank you very much for the interview. It was really nice talking to you. Well, thanks for having us. And yeah, stay tuned for more information on Air Easy. Uh, be amazing. So that was it for this short interview with the folks at Air Race E. I hope you're enthusiastic. If you want to follow the event, go to their website and stay tuned to see the calendar pop up. I hope you liked it. If you did, click the like button and feel free to drop your comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.